Hello YouTube, I am on beautiful Wildcat Mountain Road, Southeast Portland, out on a beautiful, beautiful sunny day with no scenic destination in mind, just a ride in the woods with Mike, who's behind me, as you can see. And it is 73 degrees some high clouds around but for the most part just a gorgeous gorgeous spring I guess it's still spring I want to think we're getting close to summer but we really don't seem to be getting very close to summer out here in the Pacific Northwest recently we just had a whole bunch of snow up on the mountain so it may be quite a while still before all the high altitude stuff opens up but yeah so the plan for this one is just go for a ride. I don't really have anything of consequence to talk about even. I don't plan any subjects or anything for my videos. So I just uh, ride and turn on the camera and blabber to myself is really it. with all the wildflowers there. I don't know if the, hopefully the GoPro moves fast enough to pick that up. That was a pleasant surprise. I was, that's a pretty cool spot if you live there to just have that big purple field out in front of you. I would sit out on that porch, drink a cup of coffee on the morning like this. No doubt about it. But yeah, so, Wildcat Mountain area. This is between Sandy, Oregon and Estacada, Oregon, which are both sort of sort of suburbs, sort of just outside of Portland, full to the east of them, kind of along Mount Hood. So we're in the Mount Hood foothills here. But it turned into a beautiful day. There's a lot of there's a lot of color out here of different wildflowers and things. So it's a very beautiful day, but I'm going to just uh, do some riding. So, you know, you come for the scenery, you stay for the dance music with me. <laughs> so here we go. Just a nice ride in the sort of the country here. Some beautiful, beautiful views when it opens up. Some, some riding through the forest. You just can't beat this. And this is really just the outskirts of Portland. It's, you know, we don't have to ride far for it. And that's why we're pretty lucky. And this isn't even, you know, kind of the big signature epic roads that people tend to think of when you think of the the stuff that I would normally just put a name up of where I'm going, you know, around Mount St. Helens, Mount Hood, things like that. So it's actually a Sunday, so yeah, you could say we're out on the proverbial Sunday drive today. Just take it in the sights. The grand plan of let's ride motorcycles and Mike's got his new bike, so he's got to keep putting those miles on it. <laughs> Which is good. I think as a, as a motorcycle rider, I think everybody should do a little bit of both. You know, the epic trips are great. And I obviously, obviously love them. But sometimes you just got to take a Sunday and go for a putt around and enjoy being out on a motorcycle out where you're at. It doesn't always have to be a big destination.
But that is definitely one of the very cool things about the Portland area is because of our urban growth boundary. Ooh, Titans, Titans, Titans. <laughs> That's a good example of why eyes up and look through corners, people. So yeah, when it does tighten, you have a little bit of margin there like I did. A little left, a little right foot trail break on the rear brake. And just turn through the corner. But yeah, I was saying the fun part about the urban growth boundary is, for good or bad, is that it, you go from suburbs to this, an incredibly short distance because there's no sprawl or at least limited sprawl so you don't have to go very far to, to get into BLM managed or national forest land so there are just miles and miles and miles of roads like this through the forest out here So here we are now. This is a this is a fantastic road. We're gonna it's gonna get narrow. It's gonna get tight, and then we're gonna climb. This is one of the one of the real treats of the of the route. Let's just go ride this. Yep, just as we get to the good part. And you know they won't pull over. Like right there, they could have pulled over. There's just tight enough of a road too. There's not really anywhere that you're even on the double yellow that I'm gonna feel confident with a pass. Yeah, there you go, YouTube. It's not all cutting games all the time. I don't mind, go as slow as you want, but when you realize that you're going that slow, pull it over. They probably don't even look in their mirror. Blissfully unaware of what's happening around them. Now well, there you go, YouTube. You gotta see one of the great little stretches of road around Portland in slow motion. going to cruise around these country roads for a little while longer so thank you very much for watching i'm gonna throw another video up here for you to check out if you want to but until next time it's dewey out